Hi, I'm Karen from Aromatics International and the Aroma Head Institute. And I wanted to share with you my top three favorite uses to use lavender essential oil. The first one is when I'm needing a little bit of extra support to get some really good quality sleep, to help me relax, to help me get into a calmer mood if there's a lot of anxiety going on. The second way is if I have a cold and flu. It really helps to get rid of those germs that plague you when you're not feeling well and to help your muscles to relax and to feel better, especially when they're a little bit on the achy side. My third way is my favorite way, and that is for skin healing. Especially when in the summertime comes and I might have gotten a bee sting, it's one of the very few oils that you can put directly, a little drop directly on that bee sting to help the pain to go away, to help that inflammation to decrease, which is the swelling and the redness that might be there. You can also use it if there are any cuts or scrapes going on, just put a little bit on there and you'll soon have your skin looking really good and feeling great. So when I source a lavender oil, I'm very careful because did you know that there are over 45 different species of lavender? So the one that I am talking about, the Latin name is called Lavendula angustifolia. It grows in a lot of different countries, including Greece, Bulgaria, and that's one of my favorite places to get lavender oil. Also France and all over the United States like Oregon and Washington and where I live in the mountains of Montana. So when I'm walking along my lavender, I can often smell it from a long ways away, even after it's been harvested because the oil is also in the leaves and in the stem. And when it's dried, this is what Lavendula angustifolia looks like. You, it's so fragrant that you can take a little bit of it like that and you can still smell a beautiful aroma. So when I look for distilling lavender or distilled lavender, I look for how it's been distilled, who's distilling it, what kind of practices do they use? And then I make sure that I get the most vibrant essential oil that I can share with myself, my family, and also with you. So in the comments below, I'd love to know how you use lavender.